In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how you can hook up up to three external monitors to your M1 or M2 Apple MacBook Air. For this video, I'll be using my 2020 MacBook Air. It's the M1 edition loaded with two USB-C ports on the side. This video will apply to the latest generation of MacBook Airs at the time of filming. But if you have a 2018 or older model that has a built-in display port, I'll link to my older video up in the cards and you can use that walkthrough. The only other thing to take note of is that this tutorial only applies to monitors that support a HDMI connection, no older DVI connectors or display ports, which technically can go up to 4K. But this particular solution only works up to 1080p at 60 frames per second. But it works great, so here we go. To get all of this to work, we need this Quamsi H1 expandable triple HD USB-C combo hub. Now that's a mouthful, but it works beautifully. We get three HDMI outputs over here and three USB 3 ports in. So you can run devices through this. It becomes a hub to your computer, but it also allows you to connect up to three external displays. On this side of the hub, we have our USB-C port. This will connect to our computer. You can also charge through this using your power supply to charge the internal computer battery, or you can simply use the other port on your computer to keep the battery charged, that's up to you. On the back of the unit, we get a slot that's designed for a TF card or micro SD card, and it comes preloaded with the software that you need to install on your Mac to get all of this to work. First up, I want to show you how to set all of this up. It's really easy to get going. The device itself comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable. To get this connected to the computer, we want to use this USB-C port over here and this will connect to either one of the two USB-C ports on the side of the Apple MacBook Air. Once we plug it in, it will light up, letting you know that it's powered. We get a really cool RGB fan, which also helps keep the unit cool. Up next, I want to show you how to install the software that you need to get all of this working. Now, as you can see on my desktop over here, we have the display DRI folder. If this doesn't come up, just pop the SD card in and out and you'll be in business. It'll work like that. Inside of this folder, we have all of the different operating systems and versions for Mac here that you can install. These are essentially like the driver software that's required to get all of this to work. It's very easy to set up. I just installed this one on the latest edition of my Mac and then it updated automatically as well. It's really simple. After you've got all of that installed, up next I'm going to show you how to get all of this connected. So the great news is, being that we can connect up to three HDMI cables means we can plug into any of these three ports over here and it will all work. Now you'll need to arrange this in a way that works for you. I've intentionally picked two different types of monitors instead of just using one brand because I want to showcase that it will work on any of these monitors up to 1080p at 60 frames per second. I think this Samsung might be a 720p monitor, but it works no problems at all. And here's my larger Philips monitor here running at full HD 1080p. What I really love about this whole setup is this MacBook monitor doesn't count as one of the three screens. We can still attach a third external monitor giving us four all up thanks to this little device, this is pretty cool. And lastly, I'm gonna show you the display settings which allow you to customize where these sit in the field because otherwise they're just gonna to default to the right. So if we go over to the system preferences option, go over to displays, you can see they're all sitting right next to each other on the right of the main screen, which means I have to move the mouse right before it pops up over here, for example. This isn't ideal. So the first <laughs> screen that I've got as an external monitor I want to move. So all you have to do is click and drag. I'm going to do this with my other hand. Move it up till it goes red and it lights up red on the screen here. I can move this to the left. It will flash. That's normal. We're changing the position. And then the other one I'm going to bring to the top here. It's up to you where you want to move it. You can move these in any orientation that you like. Once they all come on, I can scroll left and my cursor is now on this screen. Or I can scroll up to the right and then the cursor goes to this big monitor over here and it's all working. Now, if you prefer, you can have it set up however you like. You can have them stacked on top of each other, all to the left, all to the right. It's up to you. The first time I plugged all of this in, I just got mirrored displays. I'm gonna show you how to change that right now or if you wanna use a mirrored display, you can. This comes in handy if you plan on using one of these as your main monitor. But through the same option here in displays, we go down to display settings, click on that. Each of these will have their own set of configurations. So on the top one here, it says Shane's MacBook M1. That's my main display, and I'm gonna keep it as that. If we go down to this one, which is the next one, the Philips, the, this big one over here, it's set to extended display. I can change this to mirror, 
either the main display or the other monitor. And you can do this for up to three monitors. This is pretty cool. And the last one over here is set to extended display as well. If I put this as mirror for built-in retina display, it's going to mirror this on the small screen and I'm still gonna get that extended display over here. How cool is this? Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane. On my last couple of videos about how to set up different scenarios with external monitors and MacBooks, I had so many people ask me when I was doing this exact video. So if it's helpful, please leave a thumbs up, comment below, let us know whether or not this solution was what you were looking for. This has worked great, it doesn't get hot either, at least not in this room. I have a heater on over there as well, and it's not hot to the touch whatsoever. A massive thank you to Quamzy for sending out the H1 Expandable Triple HD USB-C Combo Hub. If you want to check this out, I'll link it down below. This will really solve the problem and headache of trying to connect multiple monitors to a single device. Thanks again. Catch you soon. See ya.